Welcome back to Key Point on TV3. We're live on 3FM 92.7, also on TV3 Ghana on Facebook and on DSTV channel 279. We're all across the world on 3news.com. We are very, very interactive this morning. So there are many of you who can share your thoughts and views and your comments with us on the issues that are on the table for us to talk about. And it bothers on all of us. We are faced with this existential threat of illegal mining. And we cannot talk about anything else much more important than this. Especially because on a daily basis we get to know how much of a, of a threat that this is to all of us. And as we go on, I, and what you're saying on the screen, and for those listening to us on 3FM 92.7, let's, let's stay on this video, because this is the Densu River. Mm. The wow. Densu that flows through uh, some part of Ghana West. It gets its source from the Wager. In fact, the Wager Dam gets its source from the Densu River. That's what the Wager Dam, as of Tuesday, when we visited the Wager Dam. The Wager Dam, part of it, we see, looks this way. And this is the source of water for millions of people living, not only in the Greater Accra region, but part of the Eastern region. This takes its source from the Etiwa Forest, as a matter of fact. The Densu River. Mm -hmm. So you see why we are in court saying government should not mine bauxite in Etiwa. True. True. The man you're hearing is Martin Pebu. Mm -hmm. He is private legal practitioner and leader of one of three individual bondholder groups. And then mm -hmm. also the convener of the Kumipeko Reloaded Demonstration, lawyer Martin Pebu. Good morning. Welcome. Morning, Mr. Kansi. Morning. Good to be here. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know, now as I keep getting responses from our fans saying that, yes, you've made the program the number one in Ghana, right? We are the most to listened you. to. Yes. Thanks to okay. all of you. Great, 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 Indeed. great. And as usual, let me greet Gamanche, uh, Kentucky, take you through the second. You know, as I always say, that will be the signature to me. As long as you see me here, Gamanche will be on the <laughs> agenda. <laughs> For his role in this is the other matter. Government is asking duty bearers, how can one woman have so much money under her bed? This is the other matter. We will have to get to the bottom of it. It's not going anywhere. If we don't do that, these politicians will continue to loot us. We'll have to get to the bottom of this is the other matter. And of course, mm. uh, let me greet Osajifu uh, Osia Adeyo, Dr. Ajiman Bedu II, Dr. Mahini. He too, you know, mm. I like to. Uh, say good morning so that he'll continue to talk. The fact that he's a traditional leader and a judge shouldn't uh, prevent him from talking because we are just too quiet as a nation. We are too docile. You don't know what's in the Ghanaian man, right? So, Asajifu, more of the show, more fire, more fire. And of mm -hmm. course, Yasantua, uh, ex chief justice so far, Kufu, good morning. That's actually why we haven't heard from you in a while. I think the last so time we I want more fire uh, yes. from uh, Sofa Kufu too. Okay, Council, thank okay. you very much, and then also to to all the guests over the period who have been dedicated and committed to mm -hmm. ensuring that at least we represent the voices of the people the best way possible, mm -hmm. and and also to the team here um, doing the best they can to give all the support mm -hmm. to make this program what it is today. So, yes, um, it goes to all of them. Right. Uh, also, let me welcome Austin Game, who is a celebrated labor expert, um, a, a former minister, for that matter, of the Republic of Ghana. Mr. Austin Game, good morning. Welcome. Thank you, my friend. I like your hat, by the way. You're welcome. Yeah. Vintage indeed. Mm -hmm. And he's not alone dressed with this way this morning. Uh, a, a good friend of this platform and a, a man of many parts. So today he says I should limit him to one of the leaders of the Ghana coalition against illegal mining in this country. Whenever there is a cause, he shows up. And we've seen him show up 
for many good causes over the period in this country. Senor Jose, good morning, Senor. Good morning. And welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great to also be uh, with my very good friends and my uncle too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd also be joined as we go on by private legal practitioner Andy Apiakubi, who's a member of parliament for the Asantiachim North constituency. Uh, he has a story to tell about Galamse in his constituency and what he's done about it. And, and he's preaching that that can be done in all the other constituencies as well. Especially because, according to Kennedy Japan, there are some MPP and NDC MPs who are all involved in Galamse. And also, Nelson Ross in Dafia Mekwo, who is a member of parliament for the South Dai constituency, is also a private legal practitioner. He would be joining me as well. And as we go on, you would hear from some security analysts who would also have a voice on the issues we're going to be talking about here on Key Point. Remember, we're live on a number of radio stations as well across the country. I would acknowledge them as we go on. But, Council, a very quick one. Uh, because you have also been providing some legal support mm -hmm. for these protesters who were detained in prison and police custody over the last two, three weeks. This week, they were, a number of them were granted bail. Yeah. Um, a number of them were in court yesterday as well for the continuation of their case. Yeah. One of such persons who has not been granted bail, this is one of two, I think, is Oliver Bakavomao. The court gave reasons why they denied him bail, and you say that those reasons are unturnable. Why is that? Yes, yeah, so um, last week we mentioned that there is a case called Oku versus the Republic in which the provision that has been used to deny Vomao bail was expressly dealt with. Justice Taylor consider that provision. So we are talking about section 96, mm -hmm. subsection 5. Okay. Yes. One of the considerations that a judge should use in determining whether to grant bail. Remember, the overriding uh, team or the main thing is that it's a discretion the judge exercises, right? Mm -hmm. Because all offenses are billable now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in exercising the discretion, the judge considers a number of factors. So one of them is that if the person before the judge, that's the accused person or suspect, is one who is already on bail for a previous offense, mm. right? Then it should influence not just any offense, an offense that if he's uh, convicted, he may be sentenced to serve more than six months. Mm -hmm. Then the judge can look at that and use it to deny him bail, right? right? Yes, pure law, that's how it's, it, it's stated in the mm. section 96, subsection 5 of the Act 30. But the point is that, you know, the laws are subject to interpretation by judges, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, judges make law. We can't run away from that. So in 1976, the case of Oku versus the Republic came before Taylor J. I want to say Taylor J. At that time, Taylor, Justice Taylor was a high court judge. Subsequently, he rose through the ranks to become a Supreme Court judge. By 1976, he was a high court judge. So Taylor J. looked at that provision and did a lot of analysis from English cases, all that, and concluded that, listen, that's a very dangerous provision, right? Mm. Yeah, he said, no, no, if you are not careful, we are going to use it to stifle the freedoms and personal liberties of our citizens. So he wasn't going with it, and he showed why it's not good. So mm. since then, we've been using it. And you see that already there are indications. Oliver will get bail. It's just... A question of time, but of course, mm. you see, you see how I'm even saying it's a question of time. I'm sorry I'm saying it that way, but that's practically how to put it. Uh, as I keep saying, one thing is very clear that as a society, we don't understand that principle that personal liberties are priceless. That one there is, is very clear to me that we don't understand it. We don't, not with the current, current state of our law. We don't understand that principle. You've advocated no, for legal yes, reform. Yes, nobody to, to can convince that. me that we understand what it means when we say personal liberties are priceless. No. Because, like I, I, I keep saying, you saw what the judge did last week. <laughs> the case is called on Tuesday, and then you are there now till Monday. Five days. That's mm. not personal liberties being priceless. Because, and I'm talking about the context of this case, because these mm. are misdemeanors. Or oh, if it were murder, right, mm -hmm. and let's say the facts were that, even though we know an accused is innocent and proven guilty, if it were murder, it was one which said, touch wood. Maybe Evans has um, shot uh, this uh, uh, Apedo, 
right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say touch wood. We pray it doesn't happen. But let's say the facts show that Evans pulled the gun out of anger and shot at Pedro. Oh, that one, if the judges are joining for two weeks, you won't see me say the same thing. Mm -hmm. But the context is that these ones are misdemeanors. And misdemeanors are the smallest of our crimes. And usually, even if the person is found guilty, they give the person a fine. So where you are keeping the person in custody for two weeks, hey, then you see us making noise. So please, as we are advancing this point, it's case specific. Right. It's case specific. It's the facts that will show. If it were murder, you say uh, Evans has taken uh, this in a gun. Shot Apedo. When I say Evans, that's your cameraman, right? You are yes, Evans, yes, right? Yes. And then Apedo. But today that's I don't right. see Apedo standing here. He's okay. around. He's Good. Around. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that one is different. So please don't take me out of context because right. I go to court five days a week. That's where I make my living. So mm -hmm. I won't just come here and say anything. It's case specific. Right. Uh -huh. So um, in cases like this, that's how come in table number four, the Supreme Court said, hey, 48 hours is 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, holiday, holiday, strike. Even when the judicial service staff are on strike, they say no. Just uh, come and uh, listen. You find the chief justice office. They will process it, and the chief justice will give you a judge somewhere. No matter the circumstances. Yes. That Forty-eight hour rule must apply. Exactly. And then okay. they, after that, they've gone through protocols saying that hey, don't play with the liberties. But so far, the way we've dealt with the protesters, you see that we don't. We are not. Walking at top. You remember the protesters got bail on uh, Monday around 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the orders and the, uh, the notice to the police got to the police the next day at what? 2 p.m. More than 24 hours. Something that's just two sheets, two sheets of paper. Something that a properly trained uh, st stenographer secretary would type in two minutes. It took more than 24 hours. Mm. Then the police, we see, because we've not done proper protocols, it gets to them, they say, oh, we don't have men. So it means that we've not come out with enough reforms. We should have reforms that will show that, hey, these letters will come out one hour, whatever. From there, it goes to the police. The police will have a standby unit. I know currently police has a number of people. They have people even doing visibility. So IG has to reorganize the system so that you pull a bit of the visibility persons. So the person can be, so let's say, you know, even at immigration, they used to have some of the Sorry. visibility officers. Mm -hmm. So those who are near the police, station, uh, the police headquarters, so that if the court orders are coming, registrar should call even before the paper gets to the, the, the office at the police headquarters or wherever. So within there, then they call some people at the visibility unit. So right. it means that those persons are responsible for visibility and also going to check the residences of accused. Mm -hmm. So by the time the letter gets there, the policeman is there, ready. And then they the, take the, accused and then the authorities, then they go and well. uh, listen, inspect. Because the police will not release, and that's the law. Actually, mm -hmm. it's a registered prerogative before the person is released from custody. Mm -hmm. If the bail is that, it's with authorities, they would have to go and inspect the residence of the surety. And even the accused, police won't let accused just go away when they don't know where his abode is, right? That's so you it. see that these administrative things delay us. Mm -hmm. And also you see that currently we don't even have anything about Saturdays and Sundays, mm -hmm. how the process should work. So once you are given bail on a Friday and you are not able to meet it, Saturday, no business, Sunday, no business, then come and continue on Monday. No, we, we don't understand. We don't understand it. And it's a shame because this one, when I was coming, the thought that came to my mind was that, oh, ah, but I thought we are all agreed that they say civilization started from Africa, right? We were the first. Well, well yes. So, uh, so it's not surprising. In some of these things, we've been lazy, lazy, lazy. Then the white man came and took over from us. Because if we are all agreed that civilization started here, how come that today? You see how they've gone ahead of us, Mars. These are some of the things we are refusing to think. We are refusing to do self-introspection. And then we just, it's just like now, or oh, it's all about money. This is our society, money. Get rich anyhow, or just die trying. We don't place personal liberties first. If we did, these things shouldn't be happening in 2024. So back to Oliver's side, mm -hmm. as we've said, so please, let's round up on this chapter before we come back to Oliver's side. So mm. we'll beg Chief Justice to get a committee, invite us, we'll come and give free uh, uh, and opinions on how we can reform this bail system in terms of the administrative structures, because it's too embarrassing. Did you guys interview Amar Governor, 
right? Yes, you, 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 I mean, it's, it's a shame. You see, a lawyer had to go to uh, jail. I mean, of course, not convicted. So when I say jail, in other words, custody, in order to bring these matters to the fore. It, it, it's bad. And you see, the registry will close at 4 p.m. How? When JM is preaching 24-hour economy, 4 p.m., yes, the registrar who came to work at 7.30, 8 o'clock, yes, he goes. Another one should take over. Another one should take over. But I thought that then, they had started some system like that. That's the afternoon area. court. Mm -hmm. All closing at 4 p.m. So it's CJ starts. Yes, it's a good initiative. The afternoon courts that the CJ is piloting in uh, uh, Adenta, Amasama, etc. And I think around La La area mm -hmm. there. Yes, that's good. But we need to do more so that we really bring to bear the 24-hour economy. Because if we say personal liberties are priceless, we can't lock the offices at 4 p.m. and go home when. Persons have been admitted to bail, and then we say, well, it's 4 o'clock. We, we are going home. Go, just continue in custody. We'll come uh, how many hours, maybe 16 hours later mm -hmm. or so to come and continue. No, it, the process cannot uh, uh, truncate because we are closing at 4 p.m. Okay. At 5 p.m., another registrar should continue the process. At 7 p.m., continuation, continuation, so that it's possible that the accused will be released. We need to reform the law. This is our cake. Please, let's okay. remind ourselves that civilization started here. If civilization started here, how are we reclaiming it? Because this is no brainer. If you just mm. put a committee together, CJ Tokonu, we beg you, put a committee together, we'll do a good job and we'll just change the law because we can't continue to punish ourselves like that. Because right now, I'm sure some people already are getting iPhone 16, right? iPhone 16 was just released. Mm -hmm. You wait, you see the number of people holding iPhone 16, see the cars. So what I'm saying is that when it comes to material wealth, oh, we want to be at par with the developed world. But when it comes to personal liberties, it's nobody's business. It can't work like that. So okay. tying it up on Oliver's... Um, matter so return to that chapter mm -hmm. so you see that uh, the high court judge gave an indication that it's, it's not just an indication that's not putting it right so he's given a road map right mm -hmm. that the second judge should admit oliver to bail within 72 hours i mean if the trial will not start within 72 hours Yes, yes, that's why his orders were that the second judge, that's to say, just uh, Ubri Yebua, should admit Oliver to bail if the trial will not start within 72 hours. Mm -hmm. And so when the case went back to the uh, circuit court, yes, it became clear that it will not start within 72 hours. But Justice Ubri is asked that the lawyers come formally, that's put the application in writing. I just hope that this time they will expedite. Let's give meaning. Let's give meaning. This will mm. be the team as we keep fighting Galamse. Let's give meaning to the principle that personal liberties are priceless. Let's give meaning to it. And also, let's give meaning. You see, police, in this case, you see um, the part of the case that showed that the IG himself admit, Dan Parry and his team, they admit that they kept at least two protesters beyond 48 hours. Yeah. Please, we are not kidding with that rule. That's Martin Pebble number four versus Attorney General number four. IG Dampare, that should be the last time. We are not kidding with it. We are not kidding. Mm -hmm. That's a decision in 2019. And Supreme Court laid out the procedure. This is not the first time. You remember when Oliver was arrested a few years ago, this e levy matter? Mm -hmm. That was the same thing. They kept him beyond 48 hours. We made a lot of noise showing that no, look, even if it's Saturday, you have to, the CJ is shown the way, you get registered. There's a protocol. Registrar will have to reach judicial secretary. And then there's a way for them to arrange for a judge to sit on the matter on Sunday. It is so far, Kufu didn't know why she was in the whole Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. It was a unanimous decision. Though. And that was so far, Kufu's last judgment before she retired in uh, this, uh, 2019. That was a, we call it a validatory judgment. So mm -hmm. that's what she rose what? with. So the Supreme Court knew what they were saying. When unanimously in 2019, that 48 hours is 48 hours. And after that, they gave Chief Justice Eni Ebua six months to roll out how to access the court on Saturdays, Sundays, public holidays. And then from 2019, this is 2024, and we are just mis I mean, still breaching people's fundamental human rights as enshrined in uh, Article 14. Well, this cannot well, continue. Well, uh, well, I, I we'll see. Ask, I mean, mm -hmm. It's a very important submission, mm -hmm. but so what, what reliefs exist for um the likes of 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 oliver or anyone who um suffers the impunity of the institutions of state in disregarding the directives of the court 
Because like Martin is saying, it's not the first time. It's referred to another time. There have been a number um, of instances. Yeah, you can have a thousand and one issues with, Ma uh, with Martin in life, but you cannot disregard the work and his contribution to the issues around this and the human rights of people. Mm -hmm. So Martin, I mean, I want, I'm asking for education. We can't have the recourse just being on radio or TV and, and shouting, nagging or whatever. Yeah. And people continue to have their way. Yeah. What, 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 what recourse can we have beyond shouting? Yeah. So, yeah, the number one, that, well, maybe I shouldn't say number one. One of them, easy ones, is to sue the police. Okay? You sue the police for compensation. But I know court, it takes time. So I would rather you just release the person or went to court within 48 hours than to give the person money. You see, you see the kind of work you do. You know, the, the, uh -huh. so the mm. point I'm making is that uh, touch wood, if you are kept beyond 48 hours, you lose a lot more in business yeah. than the sum the judge will give you some years later when you finish the case. That's how come I'm not interested in the compensation. But in law, when they keep you beyond, and I'm sure the protesters are going to sue. Even yeah. currently, NACOP kept, yeah. uh, kept somebody, an accused person, beyond 48 hours like that. Yesterday, we were in court. We are preparing to sue NACOP because we warned them. We said, listen, it's 48 hours. I mean, the Narcotic Control Commission. Mm -hmm. How? 48 hours is 48 hours. They just elbowed us. They refused. They thought that who sue? Other people are suing. There are cases in court. But the point is that it's even good you have mentioned. So when so you look at the amount, the kind of work you do, the point is that those things, when you sue, so far I'm not aware of a compensation that has even hit 200,000. But I know from the work that you do, you would rather be no, out no, and continue than right. to yeah. wait. Yeah. But, but no, for, none of yeah. the compensation, even 100,000, I'm not aware of a judgment where an accused got 100,000. The last one I did, so for six years, he got 30,000. What's 30,000 to and, you? And then, yeah, so the question, uh -huh. so you, you, and who pays for it? Right. The state this, is paid. This is my problem uh -huh. with this entire kind of thing. People leverage offices of trust, uh -huh. abuse citizens, uh -huh. abuse the state, and when there's a cost to it, mm -hmm. the state pays. It's my it is you and I who pay, not it, exactly. so, I mean, this thing, there, there has to be some kind of reform. Where, when people do some of these things glaringly, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 well, mm. it, uh, what, what negligence, mm. uh, criminal negligence, uh -huh. or something. Yes. There must so, be something. Yes. Because you cannot continue to the create cost. Of duty. Yes. The relation of duty. You know, it's a thought matter. It's yeah. a, it's it can we can't continue like mm. this. Mm. You can do whatever it is in the name of whichever office that you hold, and you know that if there's a consequence, I mean, you're just going to have the state continue to pay for it. It's not. It's not on. And in addition, the reforms we should be looking at. If people may still abuse whatever it is, but can the courts at least set up special human rights court, um, courts that deal with this expeditedly, mm -hmm. with the mandate to cure this matter mm -hmm. in no more than two weeks if mm -hmm. there's any suit on the matter? Because the right. facts are supposed to be open. It's not something that you keep kicking the can. Mm -hmm. If there's a judicial system to actually support the enforcement mm -hmm. of these rights, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. will be careful when they abuse Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. You are right. Sounds we have good. a point. We have mm -hmm. two human rights courts. But obviously, what you are saying, that is not sufficient. Because from what I've said, you won't get a decision in two weeks. No. No. It will take more than a year. And that's how come, as I said, no, let's begin to implement the law. So I hope Chief Justice uh, Tokonu is listening. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for that. And I just want to take a look at this, these, um, the, the protesters over the week mm -hmm. and some of the concerns that they had while in custody. And that will just round up this part of the conversation for us. Take a look. Chale, it's not easy. Is it like how's it cell? Two weeks in cell. It's down. It's down bad. Down bad. We are not down robbers. They are not down robbers. Two weeks in cell. Is that our rights? We are Ghanaians. How is it like in cells? How is it like in the cell? We are not. We are not having it easy. We are all suffering. We deserve our rights. I am not a thief. I am not a robber. The are robbers and thieves are there. Let's learn from them. So listen. How is it like in the cells? Three days can't get. They fill that with four days cake to eat. Three people were sardine. Three people were sardine to share. Three people were sardine. How many times? Twice in a day. Twice. Quando food. Go on. Even a deaf person will eat that food. If you, you mean it? It's twice in a day. Twice in a day. Ghana. Quando food. Ghana is for us. Never eat your food. Ghana. Quando food, food is for anybody. How, how is the condition like in the cells? How is the condition like in the cells? 21 people in one room at Abraka. Go and check today. 21. 
people in one room. Right. Some of them go to coma. I have evidence. Chale, it's not easy. How is it like? How is it? Cell. Two weeks in cell. It's damn. It's damn bad. Damn bad. We are not damn robbers. How can you not get up? Two weeks in cell. All right. We are Ghanaians. How is it like in cells? How is it like in the cell? We are not. We are not having it easy. We are all suffering. We deserve our rights. I am not a thief. I am not a robber. The air robbers and the thieves are there. Let's learn from them. So listen, how is it like in the cells? Uh, three days can get. They'll feed us with four days can get to eat. Three people one sardine. Three people one sardine to share. Three people one sardine. How many times? Twice in a day. Twice. Quand they food. Go on. Even a deaf person will eat that food. If you, you mean it's twice in a day? Twice in a day. Ghana. Kwanda Ghana food. is for us. We never eat your food. Ghana does not belong food is to anybody. We can never eat your food. How is the condition like in the cells? How is the condition like in the cells? 21 people in one room at the Braka. Go and check today. 21 people in one room. Some of them go to coma. Chale, it's not easy. How is it like? How is it like? Two weeks in cell. It's damn, it's damn bad. Damn bad. We are not damn robbers. They are not damn robbers. How is it like? Two weeks in cell. All right. We are Ghanaians. How is it like in cells? How is it like in the cell? We are not. We are not having it easy. We are all suffering. We deserve our rights. I am not a thief. I am not a robber. They are robbers and the thieves are there. Let's learn from them. So listen. How is it like in the cells? Uh, three days can't get. They'll feed us with four days can't get to eat. Three people one sardine. Three people one sardine to share. Three people one sardine. How many times? Twice in a day. Twice. Quand they food. Go on. Even a deaf person will eat that food. If you, you mean it? Swack again. It's twice in a day. Swack again. Twice in a day. Ghana. Quand they Ghana food. is for us. We never eat your food. Ghana does not belong food is to anybody. We can never belong. eat your food. How, how is the condition like in the cells? How is the condition like in the cells? 21 people in one room at the Braka. Go and check today. 21 people in one room. Some of them go to coma. I have a some of them go. Well, so th those were uh, the concerns that some of these uh, protesters had. Uh, one that stood out was that three people sharing one sardine and so on. But then again, it's, it's, it's bigger than that. And that's one of the issues that you talk about, about the reforms that has to be considered going forward. Let me acknowledge... The Honorable Andy Apia Kupi is Member of Parliament for the Asantia Chim North Constituency. He's a private legal practitioner as well. Counsel, good morning. Welcome. Good morning, my brother. Yes. And uh, good morning to your panelists, uh, right especially on. my also, most respected senior, uh, whom I uh, associated to by a long period of time in my life, and he was one of the contributors to shaping my political future. Uh, yes. So you were NDC first uh, before oh, you crossed. <laughs> I saw him more yes. as a statesman. Yeah, no, right. And in my uh, development, yes, uh, uh, there were people that. Uh, 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 well, in fact, one of my very cherished uh, <laughs> mentors is uh, Dr. Abin Chambers. Uh -huh. And he, he is NDC. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No, I, but you're NDC face. I have never been NDC. <laughs> no, I mean, it's okay. his spirit. I think it's the one that was my friend. He was president, but the senior political party was there. I was then the SRC president. And I took you were politically tainted SRC president. Exactly. It's all right. It's okay. Well, it's okay. Oh, no, no, that's not it. It is, no, 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 no. This is why I would defend him. The senior politicians were all here. Everybody knows. Those days, the funding, 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 Politics was not really something that was on the table. No, the student politics funding it started sometime in the 2000s. No, 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 What is good is good. What is not to say you get something if the politicians want to do something. But those days it wasn't about LGBT. It was okay. That doesn't mean I'm NDC. Perfect. No, no, no. I commend. It's not NDC and funding and all those for the free SHS. Does it place me? Uh, in the political situation, or another. I am a statesman, <laughs> and I want to continue to be a statesman. <laughs> right. Yes, so, whoever does anything <laughs> good you. to Ghana, I will support him. Thank you, Andy Apiakobi. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We'll talk about that. If the business, we want me to identify the businessman. It is you, Martin. 
It cannot be. It, it certainly cannot be. And I hear the money was it, never it, returned. It, 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 it certainly cannot be. The people were deceiving us. The money was shared. Let me introduce uh, the if other one. If anybody, a uh, so-called businessman, so thinks that I or we have his money, you should come out. And whatever I am, I will resign now. If he comes out to say that we did not return his money, I will resign from my position. So, 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 so I, I, identify it will identify you. Yes. So, so you, 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 you return uh, the money. Oh, no, 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 not we, did, money we, not we did not even take it. Ask Kofi Adam. Kofi Adam. Kofi Adam. Was he there? The money was not returned. Was he there? Ask him. No, was, no, no, but it's okay. I don't have a problem. No, no, no. You see, was he there? But people, why do you do things like that? When people don't take you seriously. Did you take the money? What we are discussing is a serious matter. And don't forget that we are on national TV. Yeah. And when you say that uh, uh, Kofiada said that he, the money was not retained, it means that uh, the money was which, taken. Which was, which was, uh, which is a, a not a known fact. Was he part of the meeting? And if anybody in the meeting came out to say that we even took any money from somebody, that is a different matter. But somebody who was not part of our grouping, somebody who was not part of that meeting, will rather come and tell you that. Uh, somebody, somebody took money that was not returned. It means that, and you will believe it as a lawyer. Oh, I do. As a lawyer. Okay. Mm. No, so, all right. Then no, it, it challenges your credentials as a lawyer. No okay. Worry. Thank you. So, so you are saying that the other one, the the money was returned. Mm. You, you didn't. I said that I have told the world that some attempt was made to influence us with money, which was rejected. Mm. So, with rejection, what does it mean? Rejection so means receiving the before returning. Mm -hmm. That's rejection means receiving before returning. And okay. you are a lawyer. No, no, don't okay. worry. I well, believe it. Was, I believe it. 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 Yes, but... No, no, so, well, my, 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 how do you insult me? It's not fair. It's not fair. How do you insult me? You don't have to talk with situations like this. Thank you. And he being a lawyer, that is why. Okay. The kind of lawyer that he is. So what would you do? Section 20. Is it 26? It's a crime not to report money. Yes, 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 it's a crime not to report money. So uh, the only thing that is left of this matter is for you to also let us know the identity of this businessman. Thank you. But Nelson Ross in the firm is the member of parliament for the... No, 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 it's fine. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, you don't want to tell us who the businessman is, so let's move. You don't want to tell us. Now, Honorable Dagum, good morning. Thank Welcome. you very much. Um, me let me say, let me use the opportunity to say good morning to my co-panelists, especially senior, um, uh, senior Gamme. Kbebu, mm -hmm. uh, okay. senior Kbebu, okay, and and my father, mm -hmm. Honourable Austin Gamme. Thank you. I've been seeing him for some time, and of right. course, senior, uh, whose constituency. Galam says is rife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who okay. says? Uh, my former SRC president. Who mm -hmm. says? And senior uh, senior was. My constituents are listening to you. And my and they know constituents in Peking, Bali, Pervet, Tongo, in okay. South Nine. Right. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you. Morning. Thank you very much. And uh, you have your f former SRC president here, so you must yes. just behave. You must show respect. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but you didn't anyway, show respect yeah. to me as your senior at the bar. You were attacking me, eh? Yeah. I'm your senior I'm at the bar. You said I'm okay. not a lawyer. I'm just, I'm not. You see, so, I well, so. but you see, you see, for as long you, 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 no, it's fine. For, you see, I don't, I don't want us to, for as long as you are not, you, 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 I have the capacity and potency to defend. Yes, but, yeah, at but all see, times. In the end, you will not tell us who the businessman is. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, move on. He will let's, say let's, let's he will, he will have to divulge. Uh, I'm uh, saying that uh, the right to free speech includes the right to keep quiet. No, when it's I a see. crime, you don't have that right. Oh, okay. So so the, the, section 26 of the Criminal Offences Act, right. 25. I will read it. So out. while we are at it, this week something is happened. Then to provide evidence. Oh, for you to prove my guilt. The, the videos that, the videos that, the videos that oh, no, and the appear to be. And the appear to be. You sent yes. me 
those we will show those videos. That we, you, do you I want us to talk about those videos? have a right uh, to remain silent if no, I so wish. You don't have that right. So we, it is your duty as a prosecutor to prosecute and bring my, my, my crime to the fore. Okay. And that is how uh, jurisprudence. No, no, this, this is week. not the opposite. Th this week. And uh, the lawyers th should speak like lawyers. Yes. Well, and I will read a section to you. You go well, on. Well, it's well, a crime not to report a crime. So, who, 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 who